Good afternoon. This is Paul Georgie with a closing comments, uh, covering for Steve Georgie here this afternoon. But uh, the key focus today has been the Fed news and the Fed announcement of QE3 that they will continue to uh, buy and add uh, more money to the system in the uh, form of mortgage-backed securities, and that is uh, supported the uh, metals markets. We've seen. Uh, uh, gold and silver go from a, a negative uh, level on the day to sharply higher on the day after this announcement. Crude oil is uh, continuing to be strong, up 90 cents here today. And the uh, the dollar index off of this announcement uh, broke hard and is now uh, very close to contract lows in this September dollar index. On the grain markets, we've seen uh, some strength. Off of the uh, news, we found the uh, the corn market to rally. We had very narrow ranges today. However, uh, corn ended four and three quarters higher. Uh, soybeans up one and a half, and the uh, wheat up 12 cents. And uh, the wheat is supported by uh, news and weather conditions around the world, uh, South American weather our southern hemisphere weather, mostly Australia, where uh, conditions are still dry. We had news out of uh, Europe that uh, they downgraded and, and decreased the size of production there. And that's that news is getting old. The spin of it is certainly getting old. But it's reality, and that is providing some support to the uh, the wheat complex. Today, we in the corn, we've seen uh, strength there laid off of this uh, Fed news. But uh, the more of a short covering bounce than anything, not uh, any new developments. We're still getting yield reports coming in out of Iowa, Minnesota, even North Dakota with uh, better yields than they were anticipating here. And when they uh, filled out the survey numbers for our, uh, our the Allendale uh, yield survey. Some of the other factors that we're watching and had influences today, the cash market down at the Gulf uh, continues to firm. Uh, corn up three cents. Beans were higher as well. And that's a lot to do with harvest uh, being completed or getting into the final stages in the, the Gulf area because of the, that corn went right to the Gulf to fill its needs. Now we're starting to see some improvement in uh, in basis there. Uh, basis here in the uh Central part of the Midwest uh, stays strong. The eastern uh, soybean basis continues to be very positive as crush margins there are uh, extremely good. Processors are trying to bid for beans, and that's uh, driving the, uh, the the is a driving force in the uh, in the soybean uh, markets here. As we're we've had some rain, uh, slowed some harvest, and that's uh, that's causing some uh, uh, some strength in the basis and providing strength in futures in the grain market. In the livestock market, uh, cash and futures have been quiet. Uh, we did hear some cash cattle trade in Nebraska at a dollar higher. Uh, cutout values, we'll be watching that here this afternoon. Uh, hopefully we can see some strength there as well. Uh, the pork complex, uh, very quiet today in, in a, a session that has been uh, in, in, a, in a market that's been extremely choppy. We did see the deferred contracts of hogs uh, under pressure and then bounce back a little bit, but spreading has been a, the major uh, focus uh, in the pork complex with uh, uh, traders coming out of the bear spreads where they were short the October and December against the deferreds. We're seeing some of that spread uh, unwinding giving some uh, weakness to the back months. And the cash markets certainly aren't providing any support to the nearby contract, but it's also not providing weakness at this time as well. So a lot of things going on. Definitely a lot of reasons to stay in touch with Allendale Research. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give our uh, brokers a call here or call your branch offices, uh, our branch offices, answer your questions. Uh, you can reach us at 800-262-7538 or just check us out on the web or email us uh, at research at allendale-inc.com. We wish everybody a very successful uh, trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.